Hi, welcome to Keebles. My name's Gavin, I'm the programmer behind the game. In this first part of our Tips and Tricks series, I just want to show you a few of the basics about building vehicles and saving Keebles. So without further ado, let's get on with it. The goal of Keebles is to build vehicles that can get across a landscape, saving all of the Keebles on the way. As you can see in the preview, we've highlighted the Keebles to make them nice and obvious for you. If you want to be able to take a closer look, you can always grab the preview and scroll it around and zoom in and out to get a better idea of the lay of the land. Down here, the game's suggesting that we should press the workshop button to begin, so let's do that. This is the workshop where you can build your vehicles. On this first level, we've given you a bit of a suggested template to work around, so I want to explain what a few of these components actually do. The first and biggest thing that you can see here is the bobble. The bobble is a somewhat fragile glass sphere that's responsible for picking up the keebles and carrying them to safety. The second thing are beams. Beams are your basic structural element. You'll need to use beams to be able to connect anything onto the bobble because you can't put things like wheels straight onto the bobble itself. One thing to know about beams is that there's a limit to how long they can be. If I stretch it out too far, it'll flash red, letting me know that I've tried to make it too long. The other thing that you can see happening when I grab this uh, end of this beam is that there are these green circles flashing on the bobble, and they're basically suggesting that this would be a good place to put that beam. If I put a beam here and I don't brace it or support it in any way, and I start the game, you'll see it just flops down, because all of these joints act like pivots. A good way of bracing any structure like this is to use a triangle. So if I put another beam across here, then you can see that this is nice and rigid. I want to move these two beams down into the position suggested by the diagram here, so I've selected this thing, which is our multi-select tool. The multi-select tool lets me grab a whole load of things and move them all at once, which is very convenient. We'll pop a wheel onto the back here. If I press go now, you'll see that the vehicle will start to move along. When it touches a keyboard, it'll pick it up. Unfortunately though, just one wheel isn't nearly enough power, so we're going to go to need to complete our vehicle. Just as a little convenience, you can actually drag beams straight out of these nodes on the bobble here when there's nothing else attached. Let's put our last wheel in, and I'll hit go, and off we go. So now we're rolling along quite nicely. We're going to notice a problem though, and that's that this last keyboard is somewhat higher up than our vehicle so we're not going to be able to reach it. However, we'll let the vehicle go through, get to the finish zone, and we'll have a look at the scoring. So there are three keebles to collect on every level. We get a star for each keeble that we pick up. We get a star for being under the time limit, and we get another star for being underneath the resource limit. One thing that you'll notice over here is that we got this challenge time award badge. Every level has a separate challenge time, which is completely independent of rescuing the keebles. On this level, you pretty much get it for free, but on some of the other levels, it's going to take a lot of ingenuity to get it. Let's go back, though, and see if we can work out how to get that last keeble. Something that we might think of is perhaps we need to lift the vehicle up. So let's pop the wheels underneath the uh, bobble. And we're going to need to stretch these beams down to reach it. We're going to use my multi-select tool to move the whole lot around. You can see here that these beams are flashing red because they're too long. So we're going to move them. And again, what we're trying to do is maintain these triangular structures because they're nice and strong. I can also move these wheels out and into other positions and drag everything else along with it if I want, if I'm using that multi-select tool. Let's hit go and see how we go this time around. One thing that you need to keep an eye on when you're building these vehicles is balancing them. In this case, the slope isn't too steep, so it won't make the vehicle fall over. As you can see, the vehicle is tall enough and now we've got all three keebles to the finish zone. And there we go, there's a five star result in keebles. I hope you found this first instalment of our tips and tricks to be useful. Look out for more of them where we'll share lots more interesting ideas for how you can get the most out of keebles. Take care, bye bye.